Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Well, you fished this spot your like entire life, right? My entire life. It might be like 50 degrees today, so it's gonna be wild. Yeah. That one? Nice. It's a good spot. What happened? How are you doing, Cody? All right, guys, Peter's already woken up. Uh, he's got out there at five, it's six o'clock right now, day one of the derby. Let's go check those cost traps and see if we've got anything. Crazy out here. Yeah. Bunch of other bob houses all set up. Nate's going to check his cuss traps if you want to go with him. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. You got anything on yours? Nah, the eggs weren't missing in, in the cove or on the point, so I didn't check by Randy's old camp for the spot you chose. So. Oh, y'all want to do that, bro? Small cuss guys. They are ugly suckers. They get much bigger, guys. But at least we know they're here. Number two? They're out here. And they're the same size. Yeah, they're out here. They're just. Those do make a good chowder, guys. That would be awesome to have for the Super Bowl. But I think we want to get a bigger one for that. That's the last one, guys. Oh, what the fuck? It's a weed just a, uh, yeah. just a little weed fish. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Hook broke trying to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's three of them, guys. I'm excited to check mine. It's in a spot we've like literally never fished before, especially for cuss. But yeah, we'll give it a shot. Oh, you got one? Oh, that's all the biggest? I think that's the biggest one so far. Look <laughs> that's at not it. a good sign. Double the bait, double the size. Oh, oh, buddy. No, small. He's long. So ugly. Down she goes. Last trap magic. It's that one. Oh. Ah, oh, it looks a little bit bigger in the <laughs> hole. Four for six. Definitely not the size I wanted, but hey. Hey, better than complain. eight. Yeah, you he only got two of those. Well, you fished this spot your like entire life, right? My entire life. That was his buddy's old place right there. And they would just fish all throughout here. Yeah. Oh, shit. What you want on there? Give me just a head shake. Uh, a little dash. That's actually probably the biggest one or close to it. So PJ's buddy has his cuss traps kind of near where mine are, and he got a four pounder. So I'm kind of excited to see you guys. I'm gonna be the last person to pull my traps up. You no, we gotta go on the back side over on the broads. It might be like 50 degrees today, so it's gonna be wild. Two out of five so far. Dude, are you really hurting that bad? Last trap, then you're going to the hospital. Six traps, let's see how we do. I don't think we have anything here. The bait's gone, which is a good sign. Feels like there's something, but yeah. Bait's still there. No, it's just a really strong shiny. Oh, this one's off. Oh, yeah. There she is. Yeah, nice one. Hey, at least we know there's fish out here, guys. Yeah. Oh, oh. That one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's, Let's a, nice go. One. that's a nice one. Look at that, guys. Yeah, that's Slimy nice. eels, dude. This one would be good to eat, but we don't have time for that this weekend. Nope. Yeah. 
That one? Nice. It's a good spot. Number three. Awesome. Right, drop it in. Good job. We came in clutch there, guys. The last three traps had him. All right, everyone. So Peter has no clue what's going on right now. He just received a call from my father saying, meet us by Cody's Cuss Traps right now. He, he's not sure if it's good news or bad news. What happened? We got nine one one. Well, I had crashed my snowmobile on a pressure ridge. And I just want to start off by saying, I am okay, guys. And I'm doing much, much better. How are you doing, Cody? And I just thank God it was not more serious. But we had to take the proper precautions and we called the first responders and they did an amazing job taking care of me and making sure I was safe and all the ice fishermen that came and checked on me and helped. Thank you, thank you so much. Peter was actually recording with his chest cam at the time, so I'm just gonna let these clips play out and you guys can see what amazing work the first responders did. And let this be a lesson, guys. Wear a helmet. I was not wearing one at the time, and I should have been. <laughs> Coming back this way? Yeah, he, they went over to check cuss lines, I yeah. think, and then he hit right here and skyrocketed up. His sled was like this. And he just catching ski or something. Oh, that's weird. It's not that high. It doesn't look that high, and then you get there, and yeah. it's just... Oh, uh, yeah, you didn't tell me what the heck was going on in the phone, so I didn't know if you had a big fish or if someone was hurt. He got some nice cars, but they weren't big. Now guys, this is one of the most painful and scary moments of my entire life. Uh, I don't remember too much, just flashes. One moment of being in the air, then my, I think my eyes closed, and I just remember landing. And I, the best way to describe it is like when you hit your elbow, you know how it kind of rings and feels fuzzy and just continuously hurts. That's what happened throughout my entire body and it just would not go away. My legs, I think, absorbed the entire shock and my back kind of gave out and the middle of my back was hurting, my leg was hurting and my neck and such. I just thank God that I did not hit my head. It was all ice over there. And if I hit my head, it could have been a much worse injury. So this was actually my ride off of the ice, guys. They put me in this sleigh, had me strapped in, and it was a three mile ride to the ambulance. They did a great job. It was really bumpy out there, but they got me there safely. And my father followed along on his sled and met me at the hospital. My dad told Peter he's gonna keep him updated on my condition, but to go catch some fish and to make the most of the day with Nate and John. I did just talk to him. They're bringing COVID in for a CAT scan now. But they're just trying to rule out serious things first and then they're gonna. I mean, he's moving his feet, you know. moving his arms. He's talking, he's nodding. Yeah, I think he's just more like shook up than anything. She's going. Oh, fucking taking off like crazy. Yeah. Have that ready to go because he's. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it, buddy. That's a good fish. Yeah, just try to make sure that don't wrap around it. Holy crap. He's close. There's the leader. Come on. Should be a rainbow. Flaker. That's not what I thought it was going to be. Not even that big. We go, first fish of the day. Well, I don't run if it wants to. Is he on there still? Yeah. What are you doing, guy? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you could reel that in for me, that'd be great. There you go. Nice little three, yeah. three pound like it. A little chunky one. Send it back down the hole. Yeah. 
Okay, guys. Here we go again. Dude, I'm at the back. GoPro stopped working, but Nate's on the phone. Just heard from my dad. Cody's doing a little bit better. Uh, he's going in for a CAT scan right now, so. Hopefully everything's okay with that. This one's for him, dude. I just want to back. There we go. On the three. All right, still not what we're looking for. We send it back now. Got another flag, guys. Just a little Laker. There we go, this one's a little skinny one. That's both of them. Yeah, oh, those other ones we were getting were nice and fat. Alright, gonna send her back home. Alright, John's up, finally. Let's see what you got. Nah. Nah. Walmart macaroni and cheese. Water's going. Alright guys, so I'm out here with my dad. He just came back from the hospital with Cody. How's he holding up? Physically, he's doing all right. Uh, he's got you know, a little bit of a trauma, the, the scaring of the accident, scared of the accident. But uh, other than a punctured lung, he is doing much better and he should be out later. Cool, so they're gonna keep an eye on him for the next like hour or so and make sure everything's good. And then he's gonna go back, rest up at his house and hopefully we'll see him out later tonight and he can fish the last day of the derby. It's the old man's turn. Probably coming out the hole. That was a uh, salmon. It got off right at the hole, but that's okay because you're not supposed to take them out of the water. They want to just kind of pull them Made it back out, guys. They they said you know don't do any more jumps. I, I wasn't trying. Um, but they did the CT scan, they did an x-ray. I had like fluid in my lung, I guess, from organs bounce, I don't know. They wanted me to keep me there for like six hours and, well, I'm back out and I want to catch a fish. You guys got some fish, right? Yeah, we got like four, four or five Lakers and dad caught a salmon, lost it right in the hole, which was perfect. Wear a helmet. That's one thing I wasn't wearing. Um, and Kelly definitely talked, reamed me for that one. All right guys, so it's after sunset. Can't do any more tip up fishing or anything like that and you can't catch trout, but you can jig for some cuss and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We got our headlamps and stuff. We're in a similar spot to where our cuss drops were late earlier, but um, and my back's feeling a little bit better and I just gotta get a fish, okay? I gotta get a fish on the reel today. <laughs> Not going to sleep without one. All right, so we're gonna try jigging for some cuss tonight. Uh, we got some glow, glow spoons on, I don't know if you can tell, but you basically charge it up with a flashlight and then they'll start glowing for about 10 minutes or so. Well, sadly, we didn't get anything with the glow jigs, but this is gonna wrap up day one of the 2022 Ice Fishing Derby. Day two will be coming out on Monday. You guys do not wanna miss it. We get something huge. <laughs> Now I'm just so thankful I was able to get back out on the ice, enjoy the derby, and spend time with my friends and family. 